fears come in all shapes and sizes. Some people are a little bit fearful and yet they get paralyzed. So I don't know if you know the answer to this, but what's your opinion? Like, is it nature or nurture, like to be able to overcome fears? Because the goal of this conversation is for anybody that's out there that has fears. And oh, by the way, that's everybody that's out here that's watching has some fear or another. But I don't like people to go, I'm just fearful. I can't help it. I'm just a worrier. I can't help it. Um, and that so that is it like some people definitely are born vulnerable, uh, you know, I think more sensitive than others. But, you know, what's your opinion in terms of nature and nurture? And can anybody be coached and taught to face those fears, see those fears, face those fears and overcome their fears? I had a client that, you know, she came to me and she said, hey, what can I study to help me think better about money? And she said, as soon as I start making more money, I feel like I, I get anxious, I get nervous, and I and I I start to sabotage. And and I just took a wild stab just from doing this for a lot of years. And I said, Do you have a sibling? And she's like, Yeah. And um, and I said, Okay, you know, describe that relationship. And her sister was someone who constantly screwed up and got negative attention she was always the champion got positive attention and so you know taking all of our you know we we talked quite a bit here but at the end of the day she was associating the more achievement she had that it was making her feel bad about her sister which oh, had nothing to do with her achievements so she had success guilt yes and and specifically because she felt like the more accolades the world gave her was kind of like mom and dad giving her accolades when her poor sister over there is not doing too well. And so, you know, you can, that's something you'll mm -hmm. very difficult to know without a third party looking in. And right. so uh, I think that's another element of you to really and truly dig into your deep fears. You, you almost always, I think, need a, a third party to look in and kind of, you know, analyze and say, hey, have you thought about this? And, um, and so that's definitely what helped me too.